News 12 local headlines from EPB. This is the place for the latest news from around the Tennessee Valley and North Georgia. Hello everybody, it's me Andrew Harrison. Here's what's making headlines for you right now. Family is asking for answers after they say their 22 year old son died while in the custody of the Hamilton County Jail. Family of Christopher Ayla says they learned from staff at Erlanger that her son was brain dead after being in custody. They say they were never notified by jail staff that he'd been sent to the hospital nor the reason why he was sent. Ayla had been arrested back on April 27 for a misdemeanor charge of improper usage of 911 calls. However, according to court records, that was dismissed by the district attorney's office two days later. Former District Attorney Neil Pinkston, who's representing the A-list, says the lack of answers about what happened is another example of questions being raised against the Hamilton County Jail. I know that the county commission has given the sheriff's office uh, millions and millions of dollars to improve the security uh, out at the jail with uh, locks, cameras, uh, etc. And so uh, somebody out there knows what happened and there's video, uh, if it's preserved, that should uh, shed light on all these questions that the family has. We did reach out to the Hampton County Sheriff's Office, who runs the jail, and to Attorney County Wamp about this incident. We haven't heard back from either one of them yet. UTC announces a new partner for their nursing building. The Unum Group is donating a half a million dollars for that project. University officials say that new building will grow their nursing program by 15% in the face of that national north nursing shortage. But the local insurance company will also provide professors and programs on mental health studies. What this uh, will afford us to have is some additional training. Uh, we will partner with Unum and their clinical specialists down there in the mental health field, and that will augment what we're already uh, doing here on, in the School of Nursing. We have two courses. One is a mental health course in the undergraduate program and a community health program for our traditional and our accelerated students. The university plans to be a construction of the Dorothy and Jim Kennedy Health Services building later on this year. I do thank you for joining us for your News 12 headlines, and we'll be back in a mere 60 seconds.